for five months now, our screens have been bombarded by images depicting Israel's air and ground assault on Gaza. This extraordinary footage shows just how widespread the destruction has been. Israel is still denying foreign journalists independent access to Gaza. We're in Israel, about a kilometre from the border. Generations of historians will study this Gaza war, the violence of Hamas's October 7 attack, and the unparalleled ferocity of Israel's retaliation, which left tens of thousands of Palestinians dead and vast sections of Gaza reduced to rubble. One thing they'll focus on will be Israel's response. Was it proportionate? Or was it driven by rage, humiliation and revenge? Was it legitimate self-defence? Or did it involve the commission of war crimes, as Israel's detractors around the world have alleged? And would the war jolt the international community into pushing for something that Israel's leadership had for so long resisted? A Palestinian state. In this Four Corners, we go head to head with insiders at the centre of Israel's defence and intelligence establishment. A former Prime Minister, Let's start. two ex intelligence chiefs, a current cabinet minister, and a one time Israeli army commander. We challenge them about one of the most controversial wars. You ready? in modern times. Why has the most powerful army in the Middle East, Israel, killed so many children? Do you think that revenge has become a major factor in Israel's no. response? Can Hamas be destroyed? Hamas as a military organization will be destroyed. They hate us. We saw the results. The idea of eradicating Hamas completely from Gaza is a just cause. I don't think that anyone made a deliberate decision to kill children. But the IDF is doing everything to avoid civilian casualties is a blunt lie. Straight lie. Gaza was already one of the most desperate places on Earth. Now it's uninhabitable, plagued by mass starvation and disease. When I look at it, Israel is committing a series of war crimes. Some warn that Israel's fierce response to October 7 will have sown seeds of hatred for generations to come. Is there a way out of what's beginning to look like the forever war?